Previously, we talked about how ammonia enters the urea cycle to eventually become urea so it can be safely excreted. That ammonia came from the deamination of amino acids in skeletal muscle. But since ammonia is toxic, there needs to be a way to safely transport it to the liver. Furthermore, skeletal muscle can't directly make glucose from amino acids, but the liver can. So there has to be a way to transport these products to the liver. Enter the Cahill cycle, the answer to all our prayers. Let's visit the anthill at Sketchyland to learn more. Welcome to the anthill, where you're literally surrounded by a giant anthill. As you walk up the hill, you may encounter some terrifying ants. Be sure to stay far away from them as you make your escape. <laughs> nah, just kidding, they're totally fake, but uh, please don't touch them. Besides kids, frat boys seem to love the anthill. Okay, we should probably get started before they decide to throw a rager with the ants. Yo, yo. Hey, 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 Everything happening to the left of the anthill takes place in skeletal muscle, and everything happening to the right takes place in the liver. If you look really closely, you'll notice that the leaves in the back left trees look like striated skeletal muscle, and the leaves in the back right trees look like livers. How will you know where ammonia moves through the cycle? Just follow the people in yellow clothing. Inside skeletal muscle, amino acids are deaminated to form their respective alpha keto acids and NH3. Since we're talking skeletal muscle, all the action for now will be on the left side of the ride. That groundskeeper cleaning the amino animal sign with an NH3 cleaner will help you remember that amino acids are broken down to ammonia. What about the alpha keto acids? Welp, there's a key and some acid. Put them together, boom, keto acids. See, med school is easy. Alpha ketoglutarate, an intermediate of the TCA cycle, accepts NH3 to make glutamate. See the Alpha Kappa Gamma frat boy on the kitty ride? Yeah, he's Alpha Ketoglutarate. And do you see the girl glued to her seat eating a gluten-free burrito? She's glutamate, and since she's wearing a yellow shirt, you know she's now holding the ammonia. Next, muscle alanine transaminase, or ALT, transfers an amino group from glutamate to pyruvate, producing alanine and alpha ketoglutarate. ALT is not only present in skeletal muscle, but also in the liver, as you'll see shortly. ALT requires vitamin B6, aka paradoxal phosphate. Alanine then travels to the liver, kind of like this kid running across the rope bridge towards the liver-shaped leaves. Okay, maybe not, but you get the point.